Hi and welcome back to my workshop. I'm Tony as you know I'm building my M26 Persian tank and where we left off last time was we assemble the tracks. I installed the tracks, we tested them on the bench uh, just making sure it was rolling right and uh, we then adjusted the tension on them which we'll probably have to do again um, further down the line. But there was a problem with it with the sort of these um, these little cleats on here. I'm not sure if you can pick these up but um, and it has been a problem identified on the forum and I wasn't happy uh, that they were still coming in in contact although it was a couple of millimeters I think when you roll them around and over time the tracks will loosen off and uh, get you know a little bit sort of uh, stretch a little bit um, so I've ended up just removing the uh, the cap fitting and the nut from that um, and then just touching up the paint and I don't think it's going to be a problem um, and actually it, it run better so it, it now is running free so there's no danger of it sort of connecting with it um, I've done the same on this side as well so you know it's just one of those sort of things I think some of the guys on the forum probably even dropped them down a little bit but I don't think I need to do that so I think I'm happy just removing the um, the fixing and um, and it's running exactly how I want it so today's um, or today's session if you like uh, I've decided I'm going to start building the equipment bins um, and then assemble them onto the mud guards because they are sort of one of the, the things that I think we're going to have to be painted next um, and they're, they're quite fiddly, there's six of them all together. So I've, I've gone ahead and I've assembled one uh, just to see how uh, problematic it was. There's a few little things which I'll go over in a minute um, but I will reset the camera and I'll come back and we can talk you through that very soon. So this is one of the completed, one of the longer completed bins, as you can see, all the hinges are on, all the little handles on the front are on, um, the various little details and handles on the top are on, and it's operating as it should do. But there's a couple of things which I'll go over. Um, but um, before I do that, obviously I talked about the tracks earlier, so I've taken the tracks off now um, and I will be painting those at a later stage. Uh, just in case you've just joined and you wondered why the tracks are off the truck uh, the tank um, I, I need to have them off while I continue to work on certain parts of this um, so anyway, back to the, the the main bins so really the only things to of note I guess is when you're fixing these hinges uh, the temptation is to, to, to get them as really tight as possible but I wouldn't do that I'd, I'd leave them a little bit loose um, uh, I don't mean rattly loose but just don't go over tight with them because what will happen is that will potentially affect the operation of the hinge so just get them sort of hand tight uh, using uh, your thread locker um, they won't unwind then um, and then there are three of these little studs on this particular one I think there's two on the smaller bins um, and what a, this is the raw one this is the one we're about to work on two pieces um, and the problem is the the little the little, the little, um, I don't know what you call it, sort of handle or, or, or little um, detail, doesn't fit in the hole. So this hole needs to be reamed out and made slightly bigger. Um, and I use a four mil drill to just to do that. And it's slightly oversized, but it's perfect because all you do then is you just lock tight these in. And then the other thing is on here, you've got these cleats as they are on this one. Let me show you that. And they come with these little, little brass detail, um, and you're going to find those brass details in where packed away it, where the instructions are, and they're in this little pack like this that you need to sort of directions, and you just need to cut them out. Um, and so what I've done is I've gone ahead and just just put the the handle. Let me see if I can give you this. I've put the handle already inside the brass detail, so that just makes it nice and easy to position that and glue it onto the the side of the bin however these holes are just a little bit too small for the diameter of these little pins these little handles here so i would i've opened them up with a one and a half mil drill all you know all eight of these and then they fit in perfectly and and that is about it it's as simple as that so i'm going to i'm going to do a little bit more work i won't bore you but i'm going to put do a bit more work on the hinge then we'll come back um I'll, you know, I'll probably do this in real time so you can see what i'm going to do and then i'll carry on build all the other bins um, but my son will probably speed the whole process up so first things first just going to open up these holes uh, using a high speed metal drill bit and it's one and a half mil So 
Sorry about the noise. Now they will be slightly bigger than you need, but I think that's all right. I'd rather be, you know, fit these comfortably rather than trying to force them in. As with everything, if you're doing anything like this, make sure you wear some goggles. I've got my safety glasses on. And make sure you don't put your hands behind. So when the, when the drill goes through, there's no danger of you accidentally hitting your hand. I mean, it's such a simple exercise. I don't think I need to clamp this in a vice or anything. So that's why I'm doing it, just holding it. And that's that. So what I'm going to do now on my bench, I've got my bench sander, and that's a little bit rough there where they've gone through the holes. So I'm just going to give that a, so excuse me for a minute. And there you have it all cleaned up so that's ready to go so when we come to install these this is going to be so much easier as you can see hopefully you can pick that up on the camera rather than trying to force them into these holes um, and I'm all for making life easier so that's that um, the next thing is these little stubs um, these little details these which do not fit through this hole and they are just simply to yeah, they've got to pass through the hole and they just don't, they don't do it. Don't force it. Now you could try and, you could try and um, use a round file, but you could be there for a long time. So I'm just going to change my drill bit. I'm going to go in with a four mil. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to position that over the side of my bench. And as before, I'm just going to give this a bit of a, a going over with my, sand, my bench sander. Bear with me a second. that's all clean there so that's all ready to go that's all good to go so all the drilling and uh, little bits of fettling have been done um, so now it's just a matter of um, getting on and, and gluing in the various parts so we'll start off by um, doing these I think we'll start off by doing these little sort of handles on the front of the bin and for this you just need some super glue Loctite and what I'm going to do just going to use something to prop that up so it stands as you can see I'm just going to apply quite a liberal amount to these first four and then I hope this comes out right on the camera That's the first one in Next one going in now. Do the last two of this side. I think I've got a visitor. Hello, mate. You're on. You're right. 
I will help you in a minute, darling. Sorry, that's my my grandson. I'm just talking to the camera. Give Grandad a couple of minutes and I'll be with you, okay? Good boy. That's my little grandson. Wait a minute. That's the last two just going on now. You can see how nice and easy this process is, having now re-drilled the holes and made them bigger. And you know what, if they're not perfectly straight, it doesn't really matter because you're not going to notice. So that's all eight of those now installed. I'll leave that. I'll go and attend to my grandson and we'll carry on afterwards. A few moments later. Right, I'm back with you now. Um, you know, just a three-year-old minor, minor problem, bless him. He's fascinated with the tank. So just putting a little bit of Loctite on those. And again, because we've opened up the holes, it makes life so much easier. I'm just laying it flat on my bench. And position those in, just lift it up, make sure they're all in. And they are, and that's it. Um, there is another detail of the handle, which this is, sorry, here. But I'm gonna wait until I've got the hinges on before I do that. So um, now we can start thinking about doing the hinges. And you get the beautifully made brass hinges with the kit. I think it's fairly finite. So um, with, by the way, with brass hinges, they are so, and especially since being so small, they're so delicate. So be very careful when you're handling these. Um, don't be too overzealous when you're tightening up the nuts and everything else, because you could end up just pulling that that part. You know, so where I go, that sort of hinge apart. So it's very soft brass. Um, they're not designed for heavy use or heavy duty use. So I'm I'm going to be very careful with these. I'm just going to position uh, the first one. Drop in a couple of these are M2.5 gauge um, cap or button fixings. They call them, I think. I'm going to position that on the back of the the frame first. I think actually what I'm going to do is just move that out. And then I simply just hold those. So I'm holding them from the back. Hang on. And I, I, yes, I could probably, you know, pool a piece of a, 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 a little bit of um, thread locker in a dish and then use this. But it's I just find this is just as easy to to do that. And also, um, well, just I find it just as easy to do that. So I'm just hand winding these on for now. So that's that. Um, I'll probably do the same all the way along actually. Making sure that the knuckle of the hinge is upright. So on show. These things are so fiddly, especially when you've got the old um, big old fingers like I've got. But it's like anything. Patience is always well, it's, it's, the, it's the key to this. Um, need the lid of that. I threw the lid of that, guys. Oh, there it is. That was a, almost a disaster. You know, super glue been left to go off. I'm sorry if you can't actually you know, see the detail of this, but um, hopefully you get the gist of it. So you can see it's not really, it's not a complicated part of the build, but it's like anything, you know, just what I do is I always test everything before I start getting glue on anything, making sure everything passes through the holes as intended, because it's only then you realize that, you know, some of these things need to be worked on to, um, to allow, um, you know, to, to, you know, to make it easy to, to continue the install. Uh, the last thing I'd want to do is start gluing everything up and then realize that I've got sort of got to drill holes out and, and what have you. Um, once I get this one done, we will. I will speed the whole thing up with the 
Yeah, I think it's going to, we're going to be here for a month of Sundays. This, this is y yet another fairly repetitive job. I mean, not anywhere near as repetitive as the tracks. But, um, and there's a few more in the pipeline, I think. I think the grills for the top of it are quite painstaking as well. But um, that's going to be for a, a wet afternoon or wet day. So I don't miss any of this glorious sunshine that we've got right now in the UK. I'll just put the last one on. As you can see, I'm not tightening these up too much. I will give them a little bit of um, a tighten on the um, using the, the, the sort of the Allen key, but I'm not going to be going over zealous because I, I certainly want the. I just want these to work. As intended, they're quite smart actually. As a the way, the way they've constructed these armatex is quite nice. And then once once I've got these bins done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to install them on the mud guards, and then I'm going to paint them, and then just probably not install them on the tank at that stage, but just set them aside so that they're done. So they're all the hinges on one side, sliding that into position, keeping them loose, as I said, is important. Because sometimes, and I can see, I think I might have to do it here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but I don't know. Let me see if I can make this. Make this up. So I think that might be a problem because they're not aligning perfectly. But I'm going to put them in loosely and see how we get on. Brain fog. So I'll put that. We'll start with this one, I think. Yep. I'm just going to put a couple of these fixings in. Oh dear. Sausage fingers are a joke sometimes. Yeah, you know, I've got a feeling that could be. Oh, that's right. Seems to be right. Sorry, I'm sort of mumbling to myself. So I'll probably carry on doing this, um, and I'll come back to camera uh, just before we get cracking on the other bins. So I'm just finishing off, just I'm not over tightening these, just keeping them fairly, fairly hand tight and I'm putting no pressure on them at all because the thread locker will do its job. And then that you can see opens lovely. I think if you over tighten these hinges, they will potentially snag as it opens. Um, you want this to open and shut properly. Um, so that's that. And the only other thing are these sort of um, these uh, dummy handles, I guess. <clears throat> now these will go the opposite direction to this side. So if you like, mirrored. So obviously if I was to, when I say opposite direction, so if I was to do, that's the way I was installing, you can see that the, they're running this, this direction down. Um, so I'm just gonna do that because obviously the opposite, they're gonna, they need to look the same. So, um, and all I'm gonna do there is um, just, I've, I've, I'm, I haven't checked these, but I'm pretty sure these all fit, so there shouldn't be any problems whatsoever. Just going to put some super glue on that, position that in place. 
nice and easy. Just eye it in; it'd be fine. Um, it's like some some of the some of the construction parts of this are are need to be really accurate, but things like this you don't need to. It's just that's it. Just eye it in. That's it. Fine, perfect. And that is that. So that's the larger of the t the four six bins. Sorry, the two of the larger of the six bins are now done. Now, when I come to paint these, I'm going to um, prime and paint as I would do normally. But I'm thinking about just leaving the grey primer inside here. Um, so when it opens, you just you see the grey primer rather than the green. Haven't made that final decision yet, but um, I will do uh, very, very close to um, when I do come to um, do the painting. The only other thing is I'm just looking at these. And it's just there's a little part of the brass, which is just over sailing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my file just to remove that sharp edge that's that one yeah it's just that's how I don't know if you can see in the camera but oh, I'm taking it away from you sorry there we go it's just this piece here where the the angle um now i don't know if that's actually going to have any detrimental effect at all so i don't want to risk it that's it that's done there you go that's both of those large bins done so i'll move on now probably going to speed up the whole process but i'm going to move on to doing the other bins
So that's all the bins done now. Um, I have um, installed the bins onto the mud guard. Remember I assembled that previously so I could paint the on the side of this. Um, I haven't filmed this because it's really straightforward. So I thought I'd do, I'll, I'll just go over some tips really with you. Um, so they've gone on really well. Um, don't forget these are tapered. The, the two end ones are tapered. So if they look odd, they're meant to be odd. They're, they are tapered for a reason. Um, they're all operating as they should. Um, these are just, M, I think they're M3, 6mm um, uh, cap fix or button fixings that uh, bolt these onto the main mud guard. So a um, couple of things of note. So these brackets, they although they appear all to be the same, um, you have to make sure you install them correctly and it is quite clear on the instructions if, if, if you follow the instructions carefully but there is one that's got a bit of an angle on it um, and that is this front one here or I guess yeah the front one here um, it's got a bit of an angle so just just you know just be careful uh, mark them up if you like to, before you install them to make sure they are going in the right position um, I had a bit of a problem I was too short of these little cleats um, not the brass cuttings, but the, the little cleats themselves. So I was able to, I've got some brass wire, so I'm just able to sort of fabricate a, a couple of um, spares. And then the only other thing I think is worthy of uh, note is obviously at some point, the skirting is gonna have to go on, sorry, the skirting is gonna have to go on the, on, on the edge here. However, I think that's gonna be really difficult to do. So what I've done is I'm not sure if it's gonna come out well enough on the uh, camera, but I will try. Um, so. Just checking, I don't know if you can see. I've actually cleaned off the paint and super glued um, all the uh, M2.5 nuts along here. So it, it's gonna make life easier when I screw through um, with the skirting. I'm not gonna have to fiddle around holding the nut behind. So that's uh, something I would recommend you do. I'm not sure if that's come out all that well on, on there, but I think it is, sorry. Um, and that's it. And then the only other thing I did was, um, we just sort of got, went ahead and um, did a bit of a test fit on it. Um, uh, you know, remember, obviously, we had a problem with the hull. That seems to fit quite nicely. All the holes are lining up. There is an infill piece that goes here on the armour plating, but effectively, that's what it's going to look like. I'm not sure that's coming out well enough on the on the camera. So, pleased with that. I'm glad I've, um, if you like, I've, I've gone ahead and missed a couple of steps so I can get these built. So, um, away from camera, I'm going to do exactly the same on the opposite side, get those ready, and then I'm going to get those painted. Um, and then put them to one side for the moment because I think at that point I'll probably end up putting the tracks on because uh, it'll be virtually impossible or very difficult to put the tracks on once these are on so I think the next step would be paint the tracks get those installed get these installed paint these get these installed and then we can go ahead and start thinking about the upper part of the hull so that's it for today's session thanks again for joining me if you like this thumbs up um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, or if you haven't subscribed before, please do, because it means a lot to me. Uh, it keeps me going. Um, I love all your comments and uh, sharing your, your thoughts and ideas as well. So until I see you next time, uh, that's me, Tony, building another tank. Thank you.